you're over by the Capitol and you want breakfast or lunch, this place is really, really good. Pool Donner, Pete Donner. They have outdoor seating and indoor. And there's a lot of locals here, so it was it was very good. Real good here. Chris got eggs and pancakes and yeah. bacon and ham. And ham. Mm -hmm. Look at those blueberries. And I got blueberry pancakes. Caleb got blueberry pancakes. Coffee, coffee good. Yeah, real bread. The way you'll know, it's um, just on the other side of the Library of Congress. It is. It is. Yes, it's across the street from the Library of Congress. Just, just, there's the Library of Congress, and it's right there. The Library of Congress. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful in there. We're going to try to get over here in it if we have time before we go do our tour of the tap capital at 12 30. this ceiling is absolutely gorgeous Oh my word, it's so gorgeous. The paintings, that's little bitty t pieces of tile, tiny pieces of tile. What is this? It says the Library of Congress, some kind of desk in here. I think it said it on that deal out there. See what it says on that deal. This is gorgeous. All the carvings. Gutenberg Bible. Book binder would put flanges on the back cover of these folio sized books. What are flanges? Flanges are these metals, these two okay. metal pieces. Okay. And when you close the book, those flanges fit into slots in the front cover okay. and they compress the pages so that ambient air can't circulate into the pages and so they remain flat. Isn't that okay. remarkable? We keep it at 55 degrees Fahrenheit, 50% humidity. That's ideal. It's ideal for me, but I can't get inside. Well, and, and did, did they bleach this somehow to make it that white? No? <laughs> 1,300 pages. Yeah. And no page numbers. Because they were copying, they, because they were copying as a model, the hand-lettered Bible that the monks created, monks never used page numbers, so they never had table of contents. So Gutenberg's compositors followed the same practice. Imagine if the thread that holds the pages together breaks and all the pages fall on the floor. I don't know that that would happen. But you have no page numbers to put them back in order quickly. So you'd have to read every page in Latin to 
put it back in the proper order. Uh, and they're threaded together? Yes. What, what is interesting, that's a very good question. Binding is not about putting covers on books. If that were the case, we could say paperback books are bound. They're not. Paperback books are glued. And that's why the pages fall apart after a few years. The glue goes away. Binding is all about taking the pages and stitching sets of them together and then stitching the sets together. Putting a cover on a book is simply there to protect the pages. It's not binding. I could, I could have a book with no cover, but it would be bound. I would like to know when this building was built, what year? Erected under the Act of Congress, April 1886. 1886? Yeah. The detail is just crazy. Isn't it? Oh yeah, right there. Bibles.
I'd love to sit down in here for hours and just look at all these books. I love libraries. Thank you. 